My name is Elijah Burks, and I did the his history of Mardi Gras for my presentation. The first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to start off with a video. What is Mardi Gras? Mardi Gras is a week-long celebration in New Orleans. Uh, Mardi Gras is a legal holiday in Louisiana. Um, it's also known as Fat Tuesday because it's French tradition on this Tuesday to load up on a whole lot of food and just eat a lot of food in preparation for Ash Wednesday. Uh, today, thousands of people swarm to New Orleans to celebrate this holiday. Um, they celebrate lots of traditions, the old ones and the new ones. Um, they have mass balls, they wear masks on the streets. Um, they throw beads in the crowd during the parades. Um, lots of heavy drinking. As a matter of fact, the bars in New Orleans actually lower their drinking age to 18 on some years, just because drinking at the bars is such a tradition. Um, they also have the second line and um, they put jazz music in Mardi Gras traditions as well. The first ever Mardi Gras celebration, earliest celebrations of Mardi Gras have originated back to medieval Europe and present day France um, in the Bourbon buildings. Um, French explorers, when they were exploring the colonies in the present day United States, they brought the traditions with them to the colonies of present day Mobile, Alabama. Um, the French explorers celebrated the first Mardi Gras in America in 1699. After Mobile, Alabama was formed and uh, colonized, um, secret societies began to be formed. The first secret society was actually formed in present day Mobile. These secret societies, um, they would throw parades during the week of Mardi Gras. So they would literally come out and they would throw a parade and they would push a bull's head on the street and everyone would gather around to watch them push that bull's head on the street and watch them parade and celebrate. In the 1830s, New Orleans was established. Um, when New Orleans was established and the French were coming to New Orleans, they brought Mardi Gras with them. That's when the street processions and parades were held to be able to celebrate the traditional French holiday. Um, during that time when New Orleans was discovered, uh, people began to make dazzling parade floats and had the traditional mass ball. So they would throw these mass balls, these little parties where they were, where they would wear masks and they would get really creative with the parade floats and just have a blast. Mardi Gras in New Orleans continued. People who celebrated Mardi Gras got a lot more creative with floats over the years. Uh, many paper mache artists that lived in New Orleans would take these small ideas or these small drawings that people had and they would literally 
make it come to life in these big paper mache floats. For example, like this flow right here. In 1872, the Russian Grand Duke uh, came to New Orleans when he was being honored by introducing his family's colors in Mardi Gras. A group of businessmen actually got together and they wanted to honor the Russian Grand Duke and his family colors were purple, green, and gold. So they made the whole, made, they made the parades, they just made all of New Orleans during Mardi Gras week, um, purple, gold, and green. Purple, gold, and green actually became uh, Mardi Gras official colors um, during the holiday. That's why when it, it's the week of Mardi Gras, you just see um, green, purple, and gold everywhere. Um, and that's when the king cake started coming around. So the king cake actually originates back to 12th century France. They didn't have the purple, green, and gold, but they still had a king cake in it. Um, the king cake was a tradition in Mardi Gras. Um, it was brought from New Orleans to France in 1870, uh, when more people from France started coming into uh, Louisiana. And so the uh, king cake, they put a baby in the cake. And the tradition of the king cake is if um, the person eating the cake finds the baby in the cake, they put a little toy baby in the cake. If they find the cake, whoever, whoever finds the baby in the cake has to buy the next king cake for next year. That's a, that's the tradition. And then later in the years, the second line to merge, uh, they part, they started to introduce jazz music. Um, they, it's just a big celebration. Um, the governor of Louisiana made Mardi Gras a legal holiday in Louisiana. Um, the traditions actually continue to this day. And, uh, many, and to this day, many people come out to celebrate Mardi Gras. All right, thank you.